Okay, so episode two of The Last of Us aired last night. I'm going to be getting into some spoiler talk here, so that's your warning, but let's get into it. So right off the bat, again, overall, I really enjoyed the episode. I thought it was really well executed. Uh, they've definitely taken a departure from the game, I feel, in this episode more than they did in the first episode. And the biggest way they've done that is to just condense everything down. Uh, in the gameplay, there's a lot of going into this building, dealing with these infected, going into this building, finding clickers here. Um, and it takes a while before we get to the point where the episode ends. Whereas in the show, they take liberties by getting them there quicker, which I think makes complete sense. And it works really well for the show. And right off the bat, I'd like that we're going back in time again. We go to Indonesia and we kind of see how people started to discuss what was happening and the ways in which they could deal with it. And this this doctor's opinion is just to bomb everything and kill a whole bunch of people because there's no way to stop this thing. There is no vaccine. There is no medicine. And so I actually like that they're going back and kind of, kind of giving us a little flashback into how everyone is dealing with the unfolding events. Well, I really enjoy that the show is is centered on Joel and Ellie's storyline and their journey together and their relationship. It's good to also zoom out and show on a macro level kind of how this affected the world as well. So it does make it feel bigger. So it, it reminds us this was a global event that happened, even though we're centered on these characters. So I like that they're going back and they're kind of showing us how things unfolded and everything. And hopefully they do that moving forward. One thing I really like that they've done in this episode is build upon the the fungus itself and how it works and how it's interconnected. Instead of it everything being isolated incidents where you go into this building and there's infected, and then you go over here and maybe there's a clicker or maybe there's infected, but nothing is is connected. The way that they're setting the show up is that it is connected and that and you know something that you do over here can impact the infected over here and they come at you. And so that heightens the danger in the show. And I think that's a that's a really good idea that they've implemented for the show. I also like how they dealt with Tess's death. In the game, you have the soldiers come up outside the building and put your hands up and they come in and they swarm and you just hear the gunshots in the background. But in the show, it's it's this idea that, you know, they a part of the fungus was touched and it communicated with the infected. And now a horde of infected is coming at them. And I think that makes a lot of sense. They don't really have time in the show to really, you know, deal with the clickers and the infected and Joel and Ellie's relationship and the soldiers like they do have to cut things out and so I think it made sense to cut out the soldiers in this case and keep it centrally focused on the infected and that being the biggest danger to them and their survival so there was one thing I noticed though throughout this episode and I noticed it a little bit in the first episode in a couple shots and that's the camera work overall I'm a fan of handheld I think it adds um, a rawness and organicness and a just our realness to the the vibe of the show, which the show definitely benefits from. But there were a few times where the camera work became noticeable to me. If the camera work is drawing attention to itself and taking away from me being able to just enjoy the moment and the dialogue between the characters, then for me, it's a bit too much. And I've noticed it a few times, but that's a small gripe. The humor for the show, I think overall works really well. There's that moment where Ellie's asking for a gun and Joel says no. And she says, well, I'll just throw my effing sandwich at him. And that I, had, I laughed out loud at that. There's been a few lines in the show that were... I think the humor lands really well. It's not cheesy. It's not corny. I think it's genuinely funny most of the time. I do think they're walking a tightrope between injecting a bit too much humor into the show. Right now, it's fine. If they were to add more humor to the show, I think then it would start to be a detriment and start to take away from certain moments. But right now, they're walking that tightrope pretty well. So, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this episode. Is the show groundbreaking in any way I don't think so but it is being really really authentic to the source material which at the time was groundbreaking you got to remember when this game came out the genre wasn't oversaturated like it has become since this game came out so I feel like if this show had come out when the game came out it would be far more groundbreaking than it currently feels like it is at the moment, unfortunately, it has that difficult task of trying to breathe fresh air into a tired genre. And for the most part, I think it's doing it really well. I do think that the writing's terrific. The acting is terrific. The set design is fantastic. Like, they have made it look like the apocalypse happened and the world is over. And, you know, 
all the moss growing on the ground and and just the set design and production value is, is fantastic so overall they're doing a great job and i am excited to watch the rest and continue to talk about it here so i'll see you next week